Science teachers want students to think and reason actively and not copy and memorize passively. The next generation science standards ask students to explain phenomena using disciplinary practices, core ideas, and cross-cutting concepts. It's a bit like cooking a meal. Practices are the tools and skills needed to mix the core ideas or ingredients together with some cross-cutting concepts or spices. Krajic's analogy. To do it well, you need not only a recipe book, but a cooking course. And I think that's what Open Sciat is. So I wanted to show you the organization of this rather impressive and a bit daunting book. You first should understand that this is organized via what's called a storyline instructional model that shows a series of steps that are driven by students' questions that arise from the phenomenon. So when you open up the first section, you'll see a very meaningful and relevant anchoring phenomenon that starts the unit in a set of lessons that are based on questions where students immediately develop initial models. There are navigation routines that help build coherence between the lessons and students progress through them along the way they use evidence to revise models they apply cross-cutting concepts and continue to use and revise and evaluate models using evidence. Along the way, they also design investigations to answer some of the questions that they've developed. There's a lot of supports for teachers. There's snapshots which provide overviews and slides in Google Drives and time suggestions. A lot of detailed work has gone into this to help teachers learn not only how to run these complex but really useful modes of discussion, but also how to use them to co-construct visual models with students. So I would encourage you to take a look at this really incredible cookbook and cooking course that you can use to learn how to actually do the next generation science standards.